This video is gonna be a it's gonna be a bit different than my average video because we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna do some speculating. Now I'm a big movie lover. I was even in Hollywood in the late eighties into the nineties, trying my hand at acting, getting bit parts and a lot of extra work. I wasn't a great success though, but it was fun and I don't regret it at all because life is to be lived. So if you get the opportunity, pursue your dreams because no one wants to die with regrets. Anyway, the, the other night I watched the movie Nightmare Alley. The, this is a new film by Guillermo del Toro, who is one of my favorite all-time filmmakers. He's the guy behind the, the Hellboy movies, the, the two earlier ones, the good ones. Uh, he also did Pan's Labyrinth, probably one of the best films made in the last 20 years. And for the past, I don't know, 12, 15 years, he's been trying to get at the Mountains of Madness by H.P. Lovecraft made into a film. Uh, and if you did, it probably will be excellent. Anyway, Nightmare Alley centers around a character named Stan, played by Bradley Cooper, who's really fucking good in the movie. Anyway, uh, now you learn early on that, that Stan appears to have killed someone I'm not giving away any spoilers here. And then not long after that, he becomes a carny and then later an expert mentalist. Now Stan's a troubled man who's trying to run away from his past, but at the same time tries to get over on those he sees as better than him, as in more successful. Now. Like I said, I don't want to give away too much for those who haven't seen it yet, but from a psychological perspective, pay attention to the symbolism of the character of the geek in the one-eyed baby in the jar, the pickled punk, if you will, that baby that killed its mother at birth. Anyway, this bit of modern film noir was excellent. I loved it. Every shot was stunning, the sets, the color, the composition, all of it. But as I was watching it, I started noticing something. About halfway through the film, I was, I was watching it at home, I was streaming it. I stopped it and looked at my wife and asked, asked her, are you picking up on this? At first she wasn't sure what I was getting at. Then I went down the list. The lead character was Stan, but whose full first name was Stanton. He joins a carnival and learns mentalism or lesser magic, if you will. There's even a character named Xena, a tarot card reader played by Tony Collette, who was superb in the film Hereditary. Now, there's also a character named Lilith, played by Kate Blanchett. So you have Stanton, the carnival, mentalism, Xena, and Lilith. Some of you may already see where I'm going with this. Well, I asked my wife, is Guillermo del Toro a Satanist? Now, for those who don't see where I'm going with this, let me explain. The founder of the Church of Satan, Anton LaVey's real name was Howard Stanton Levy, or Levy, who also has a grandson named Stanton. Now, LaVey worked at a carnival or, or circus who, while there, learned the tricks of the trade, if you will, on how to manipulate others. He also has a daughter named Zena, 
the mother of Stanton. Well, when the film was over, I got online and did my research. The movie is based on a 1946 novel of the same name, which was already made into a movie in 1947 starring Tyrone Power. The names Stanton and Zena were already in the novel, so Del Toro didn't get them from LeVay. But what's interesting is, in the book, the character of Stanton doesn't become a sideshow mentalist after being a carny, but instead a quasi-religious figure utilizing those skills he acquired as a carny. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying LeVay was a huckster. I have tons of respect for the Black Pope. It's just that when, when you work in a carnival-type environment, you're going to learn quite a bit about the human condition. I think, though, it's, it's obvious that LeVay, as a teen, he was born in 1930, either read the book saw the 1947 version, or both, and was influenced by it because this can't be a simple coincidence. So, in conclusion, do I think Guillermo del Toro is a Satanist? No, he could be, but I doubt it. I will say this though, the man is a magician because he knows how to cast a spell with his films by tapping into the darker aspects of the psyche. So who knows? Now, what do you think? What do you think of this satanic connection concerning the film Nightmare Alley? Leave your comments down below. Until next time.